The Bangkok Sculpture Center was founded on July 5, 2004 by Mr. Seum Kun Kunawong. Sculptures exhibited here are from the collections of Mr. Seum Kun Kunawong, Ms. Mun Fan Sirikon Kunawong, and Ms. Wat Fan Kunawong, as well as works created with cooperation from both private and public organizations. Also exhibited at the center are works on loan from famous artists. These sculptures have made the Bangkok Sculpture Center a museum with a vast collection of treasured works for art. With an aim to make contributions to the advancement of Thai sculptors and the art of sculpting in Thailand at the national and international levels. <laughs> ที่จะเป็นที่รวมหรือต้องเรียกว่าเป็นพิพิธภัณฑ์ปฏิมากรรมของประเทศไทยที่มีเจตนารมณ์ที่จะรวบรวมงานตั้งแต่ยุคทวาราวดีเมื่อพันปีก่อนจนกระทั่งถึงยุคปฏิมากรรมป๊อปอาร์ตในปัจจุบันแล้วก็ชิ้นงานจํานวน200ชิ้นที่ศูนย์ปฏิมากรรมกรุงเทพได้เก็บสะสมไว้เนี่ยเราหวังว่าจะเป็นแหล่งของการเรียนรู้ด้านปฏิมากรรมและศิลปะไทยในขณะเดียวกันเราก็พร้อมที่จะให้มีการยืมงานนี้ออกไปจัดแสดงในต่างประเทศนะฮะรวมทั้งกิจกรรมอื่นๆเช่นการจัดแสดงเทศกาลพิเศษของศูนย์ปฏิบัติการกรุงเทพซึ่งเคยจัดแล้วหลายครั้งในกรุงเทพมหานครและในต่างจังหวัดทั้งหมดนี้เพื่อประกาศว่างานปฏิบัติกรรมของศิลปินปฏิมากรไทยไม่เป็นรองใครในโลกครับ Located at Soi Nuan Jam, Ramintra Road, Bangkok, the Bangkok Sculpture Center was established under the Cultural Social Responsibility Project of the CMO Group. The center is situated in the compound of the Bangkok Creative Playground, which is the complex where companies and creative work units of the CMO Group are located. The center, which has a combined functional space of over 4,000 square meters, comprises a stylish building that blends perfectly with the area allocated for exhibitions of contemporary sculptures. The idea was to build a center that is a museum to display works of art, together with an office area, which is another dimension of exhibitions in contemporary museums. ครับในการออกแบบ Bangkok Creative Playground ซึ่งเป็นพื้นที่ของกลุ่มบริษัท CMO Group นะฮะก็เป็นอะไรที่ท้าทายไม่ว่าจะเป็นในเรื่องของการใช้สอยก็ดีนะฮะก็จะมีลักษณะที่ผสมผสานระหว่างความเป็นศิลปะกับการทำงานเข้าอย่างเนื้อเดียวกันแต่ในลักษณะที่มีเอกลักษณ์เหล่านี้เราจะทำยังไงให้เกิดการสร้างประสบการณ์ที่ดีกับคนที่ทำงานแล้วก็คนที่มาเยี่ยมชมศิลปะพื้นที่ที่จะสามารถเชื่อมความสัมพันธ์มีความสัมพันธ์กันในแง่ของพนักง,งานสร้างให้เกิดที่เรียกว่า Creative Playground เนี่ยก็คือว่าคนเนี่ยสามารถที่จะเชื่อมโยงกันได้ในลักษณะเหมือนสนามเด็กเล่นเลย The sculptural displays at the Bangkok Sculpture Center are not confined to the exhibition hall. Sculptures are placed in all functional space, in the exhibition area and the storage area, in the lawn in front of the first floor, in front of the elevator on the second floor, in the hall of the third floor, at the water garden on the third floor, and at the sculpture warehouse. With an intention to make the Bangkok Sculpture Center a source of information on the development of Thai sculpture and a place that displays the path of sculpture art history, we have carefully chosen the masterpieces that are significant and have influence on the Thai history of art. 
The works selected are those that reflect the identity of each artist. Have conceptual influence on society or on artists of later eras. And represent the transition from one period of art to another. The result is the center that houses over 200 masterpieces spanning over four periods, starting from Buddha images by master artists from the Tawarawadi period, from around 1500 to 1700 Buddhist era. Other works exhibited here are those in the Lopuri with Angkor Wat style art and Bayon style. In the Sukhothai, Lana and Ayutthaya styles and those from the Ratanakosin era. Including Buddha images created during the reign of King Rama the Ninth. During the reigns of King Rama IV and Rama V, Thai sculpting came under the influence of Western art, with the arrivals of engineers, architects and artists from Europe, especially from Italy, coming to work in Thailand. During the reign of King Rama VI, Mr. Corrado Ferrochi came to Thailand and introduced painting and sculpting courses at the School of Fine Arts which later became Silapakon University. The curriculum followed the model of the Academy of Fine Arts in Florence, Italy. This marked the beginning of realistic sculpting in Thailand. During 1947 to 1956, the works were still dominated by realistic elements but new contents were introduced with more portrayals of the lives of ordinary people. Among the outstanding pieces, which combine the Western sculpting style with Sukhothai style lines, are the works of Kian Yim Siri and Chit Lian Pracha. During this period, the Western influence was also felt in abstract sculpture with the flow of abstract art into Thai art, such as the works of In Son Wong Sam, who was the first Thai artist to create knockdown sculptures. Wee Chai Sitirat created metal sculptures. While the works of Khe Marat Kong Suk show the relationship between internal and external forms. Cham Reung Wichien Khe created abstract sculptures by minimizing the realistic shapes of men and eventually turning them into abstract forms. Chi Wa Komon Malai, on the other hand, created abstract sculptures made of wood, stone, and paper. Thai art then took another turn with modernism from the U.S. Installations and mixed media began to make themselves felt in Thai art, such as the pieces created by Gamon Tatsanantali. Jakapan Wilasinikun. and Tana Lao Ha Kai Kun. This finally led to the concept of incorporating the ideas of identity into sculptural works. The motif technique, 
where conventional Thai motifs are applied to bronze sculptures, was introduced. This was followed by the works of Chalem Chai Gosit Pipat, one of the students in the first graduating class in the Thai Art Department of Silapagon University. Panya Wichin Thanasan. And Pat Yod Puttachalun. From the accumulated skills and craftsmanship, creative imagination, and excellent work of Thai artists, to the inception of the Bangkok Sculpture Center, waiting to be explored by all.